constantly find yourself in awkward situations where you need light but never have a flashlight with working batteries, well, fret no more, dear buddy, because now for only four easy payments of $39.95, you can have your very own forever flashlight, which you'll never need to replace the batteries on because it runs on friction. Yes, I said friction. Order within the next 12 seconds and get 17 more for free for your friends and family. Makes a great gift for friends and family members. Oh, hey, Will. Check it out, man. I just got this new thing. What's that? What'd you get, man? I got a flashlight, man. It's cool. Check this out. It's brand new. My dad's credit card. You only have the sound 18. And you get it from QVC, man. Four payments. Four easy payments. Oh, easy. $39.95. Oh, wow. And what this flashlight does is, is all you have to do. It doesn't need batteries, man. No batteries. No batteries. This flashlight. No batteries, man. That's what? the way of the future. All you gotta do to get this flashlight to go on, just give it a shake. Or is, oh, really? That's what they say. Well, let's try it out. Give it a shaky shake. Let's okay. see what, see what kind of light we got out of this baby here. No, you think? Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's see what we got. Ooh, flickery. What a flickery, unpure, crappy light thing. It is one LED, but. All right, well, do, maybe then shake it enough. Let's shake it some more. Keep going. Let me get a good one. All right, try it now. Let's see what we got here. Really didn't do much at all. It's still flickering. Maybe made it worse, if anything. It's like the same thing. It's kind of... You don't say. You don't think it's not actually doing anything, do you, when you shake it? There's only one thing we can do to find that out. Is we have to open it up. We have to open it up. All right, let's go. Let's so I guess how this thing works, right? Is it got mm -hmm. the got this little lead, maybe? No, it's. Not heavy enough to be lead, but okay. it, it's got it's probably some cheap steel or something like that, or maybe aluminum, right? Okay. Yeah. Aluminum wouldn't work anyway, so anyway, that supposedly flies past this little copper uh, the wind of unwinded cable. Like usually when you wind up a, a cable when you wind up a, a coil like that, mm -hmm. it has to be wound perfectly in order to be actually useful. It's yeah. clearly just wound up by like a Korean in a cage. Pretty sloppy. It's a, it's a sloppy job. Yeah. Okay, now upon further inspection, there is no connection whatsoever between this coil and the rest of the electronics up here. In fact, I think I see some. I think I see some cell batteries right here. I I I, <laughs> I do believe. Are those one and a half volts? I do believe that it is two. Count them two one and a half volts here. We got a screwdriver right here. Just pump those things out. There's a hole there for easy removal of batteries. All right, let's see what we got here. Lithium battery CR2032. Three volts each. So, we have a stack of six volts sitting in there, which powers the light. How useless is this? We don't even have the piece in here. We're not shaking it. We haven't shaken this in a half hour. It's still not, not, not lighting up. So, well, I guess we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's magic or something. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our voltmeter here. All right, let's give a, got some alligator plugs here. And we got another alligator plug for you. Oh, okay. Oops, stick that on there. Okay, nice. Okay, we gotta switch this over to 20 volts. All right. All right. Now we're measuring 4.11 volts. Negative 4.11 because I haven't hooked up backwards, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna check it. Drops down to zero. When do we light it? Okay. It disconnected. 4.11. Remember that. Attach this device back. Attach this device back. Okay. Nice and cheap. You know, doesn't fit on right. It's good. It's got rubber pieces. This rubber might cost another. Half a penny. All right, we're just gonna use my finger. Look at a good shaking. Give them a real good shaking. Still shaking. Like a shake. That was a nice vigorous shake. I think it will go. Hold on. I should do 
All right, let's try this again. Now, what did we say before? 4.11, right? Now, we will attach these back onto their proper locations. Now we're reading out 4.07. How does that happen? Yeah, this clearly did not do anything. It's, it's, it, this, this coil is clearly useless. As you can see, hopefully maybe, I just disconnected it. Reading 4 point, in the vicinity of 4, 4 volts, coming out of two 3 volt batteries in series. And after you generate, you supposedly shake it, it does nothing. So the conclusion, the official tech-centric conclusion is that these are junk. And they're they're just they're just a I don't know what would you call it thirty nine ninety five times 30. four <laughs> wasted yes it's just wasted four Great. easy payments of thirty nine ninety five wasted but we did get two because you know they always include a second one three. oh yeah I well, noticed that if you call within twenty minutes twenty minutes you gotta call within yeah, twenty minutes because if not there goes your second there's this one time though where uh, I was on the phone with the lady and. I was talking like a real nice to her. I was mm -hmm. talking like dirty. Yeah. And I think she got like turned on or something and she like gave me her number. Oh. And yeah. then she gave me two free. Two more? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. She was like, yeah. That was uh, that plate set, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. The, the plate plates. knife set. Yeah. That's I it. Gave almost I my remember mom, that. But then I met up with her mm -hmm. and I was a man. <laughs> 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 All right. The dangers of QVC dating. Not pretty. Our conclusion, this doesn't work. Don't bother. Have a nice night.